Okay, welcome back to another Montreal Canadiens gem mode. So basically, I actually recorded about three minutes of this. I didn't get anywhere, which is good. <laughs> but um, yeah, my, my stream had to tell me here that my audio wasn't working. And now I can see why, and it should be fixed. So hopefully all is well. Now knowing my luck, when I go watch the recording after this, it's going to be all screwed up. <laughs> it shoots. Watching a horror game. Which one? And Jimmy, I'm doing good. How are you? Okay, so I have a couple comments here I want to read from the video. So Ben said to try trading Anderson and include a higher pick so the team will take the contract without retaining salary, either a pick or a decent prospect with him. Kind of against that, honestly. I know his contract is pretty bad, but I'm all for this plus five on line two here. And I think that's going to help them grow. So I think, honestly, he might he could probably get up to like an 84 if we if we do it right here, which, you know... The contract wouldn't be so bad then. Um, and then Nick said, trade price for a younger goalie as he declines quick. I actually had no idea that Carey Price was 33. I had no idea he was that old. So, yeah, we should probably do that. I scouted a couple trades before starting up here. So, I have a couple trades I'm going to make for sure. And hopefully that will be enough to free up cap space where we can sign people. Otherwise, we're screwed. I could completely screw us over here. But, uh, you know, I guess that's part of the challenge. <laughs> And um, we got Cole saying, keep the second line for the plus five. They will grow a lot. Also go for the rebuild. Yeah, I think we are going to go for the rebuild. Playoffs are potential, but I don't think we should do it because we won't win the cup. Well, I mean, it is EA simulation engine. You never know. But Spencer said that Allen plays better for than Price for him and his franchise mode. So that's interesting. But um, yeah. Oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Happy birthday indeed. So yeah, I think we should try to trade Petrie as well. But there's two trades I know for a fact I'm making. And we should be good to go. So I'm going to go into the trade deadline mini game, And I'm going to keep the current block. Enter trade deadline. Okay, so one of the players we are going to go after is Bowen Byram. So... He was on the block for Colorado. Hopefully he's still there. Otherwise, I'm going to be very upset. But, yeah. I, yeah, he's still on the block. Okay, his value's way up there. It's going to be tough to get him. But we do have Philippe Dano expiring his contract. He wants a lot of money. So I'm going to get rid of him. And honestly, it's his last year. So I'm just going to do this so that it will actually work. Yep, retain as much as possible. Otherwise, the trade will not go through for cap issues. And then draft picks. So, I believe this should work. Two seconds, two fourths, and Deno. So, we can keep our first and get Byram. If it doesn't work, then we could be screwed. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. Let's see. Will it go through? It does. All right, cool. So, yeah. I'm going to say accept to that. So, we got rid of a bunch of draft picks. And trust me, Naz, I did some pre-scouting. And by that, I mean I tried making other trades before and not saving, and it wouldn't go through. I had to overpay. Otherwise, they wouldn't do it. So I'm not uh, I'm not too upset about that because we're not going to get a Bowen Byram in any second round. So I'm not too upset about it. Um, I also just punched my desk, and it kind of hurt. So the next trade will be the Edmonton Oilers. Let's go to them. I'm trying to think alphabetically here. My brain is not working. Okay, there we go. So, I want to get from them a goaltender here because we need one. When I did my pre-scouting for the video here. And they don't have Bouchard on the block, which is very unfortunate because he was actually supposed to be on the block. Wow. Well, that's lame. So, we can either go after Ethan Bear or... I believe Holloway was on the block as well. So, which one do you guys prefer? Should we go after Dylan Holloway, the forward, or should we go after Ethan Bear, the defenseman? I mean, we could try going after Bouchard anyway, but yeah, I don't know. It's up to you guys. And basically, what we're going to be getting rid of in this trade is Carey Price. So, Allen's going to be our starter. And yeah, we're going to completely try to throw this year away now. I know it's too late to completely crap the sheets, but... I think it's, you know, it's, it's, it's it'll work, <laughs> hopefully. I'm, I'm going off of intuition here. Could be completely wrong. 
So we got two Holloways. Oh, uh, Holloway's not in the game. I do create him, by the way. So, yeah. I got two for Holloway and one for Bear. Hmm. I don't know which one I want, personally. I'm trying to think in my head right now. I feel like we are kind of struggling for defense, but at the same time... Uh... Holloway, Montreal has a lot of defensive prospects in the game. Do they? I'm gonna... Let me fact check that real quick. Uh, let's go to our defense. So we've got Victor Mete. We got Flurry. Yeah, okay, that's fair. We also got Ghost. Now we got Byram. Um, we've got Nesterov, top four. Caden Goulet, top four. Yeah, and then we've got Moore, top six, 19. So you know what? You're actually right. Interesting. I think I do want to go for Holloway because Bear is giving me some, what's it called? Uh, not synergy. I want to call it synergy. Chemistry. Uh, problems in the past. So I'm going to try to avoid that. And also, in order to make this trade go through, I am going to have to add Smith to the trade, unfortunately. But he's only got one year left, so we're basically just keeping him temporarily. And then, I think I am going to go after Holloway. Yeah, Bear, Bear never really panned out in the other one that I was doing, so that's kind of why I'm scared. There was another player I had to add in order to make the cap work, and it was only a one year, so I could just let him walk after. It was... Kurt Russell, I believe. Where is he? Somewhere here. Holy crap, he's... Don't tell me they traded him. Okay, I was gonna say, then we're screwed. Then we're all kinds of screwed. So, yeah. I don't know if this will go through just like this. We might have to add in a pick. But I think I'm gonna go after Holloway. And then we got Smith, Russell, and Skinner. Uh, Skinner is... He's pretty young, I think. Like, 22? Yeah, okay. He's medium starter. And... He has... 917, 225. Holloway will score because he's a creative player. Yeah, that's actually facts. So I think I want to go for him. All right. Uh, Bear never grows for you either. Bear doesn't grow. Bear never grows. Yeah. All right. So let's go after Holloway and hope for the best. Stuart Skinner as well. Taking... I know I know Smith is old, but he's one year left. We're basically just getting rid of that. Oh, also, I feel like I got to... I forgot to do that, just in case. Uh, I need to go and turn on slow mode a bit. Okay. Just so it's not going crazy. But yeah, so carry price for these four. Basically, just taking two rest of the season cap dumps here that we don't care about. Um, getting Holloway, which is a good prospect. And getting a, you know, a, I guess a goalie that has potential to grow. Um, in exchange for a contract we want to get rid of. So, I am going to go ahead and send that through. It will go through. So, let's let's do it. And also, who won the giveaway? I have emailed the three winners already. Two of them have gotten back to me. So, I will be sending those out in the near future. But, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Like, Stuart Skinner is not our permanent goalie solution. That's for sure. He's just temporary. But, we are going for a rebuild. So, I don't want to, you know... I also kind of want to see if there's any player or any teams out there that want Jeff Petrie. And if we can get some some younger players as well for that um, contract. Well, I guess actually he's on his last year, but he's old. <laughs> I don't want to re-sign him. Great trade. Thank you. Oilers are going to win the cup now. I guess we'll see. Okay, so it looks like they want to give up their first. I would honestly trade him for a first. I would do it if he has that kind of you know, value, but I don't think he does. Uh, oh, mm, it's pretty close. It's actually pretty close. Huh. But they'd be over the cap. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I guess we could check other teams first. Let's go check some other teams. Is there anyone that has the cap space? Calgary does. Trade for Louis Erickson. <laughs> Absolutely not. And let's go to Carolina. They also have their first. I guess I could retain a bit. Oh, yeah, it's his last year. Good point. I could retain a bit if I have to. Um, Let's try for Boston's first, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Just a first for Petrie straight up. And we will retain some cap here because it really don't matter. Uh, they would still be over, apparently. Even though it showed green for me. You're lying to me, game. All right. 
Calgary? <laughs> oh, do they really? We'd be trading back for our own pick? All right, you know what? No, I, it's still not working. I don't know. I don't really know how the retained salary thing in this even works that well, other than the fact that sometimes it makes trades go through. So let's try to find another team that actually has some cap space and wants them. Uh, that's close. Toronto? Toronto has cap space? And they want to get rid of their first? They'd have... Oh, okay. They'd have skaters above the number 25, which is not allowed. So they have players on the block that we could just kind of... I don't think they count, right? Because they aren't signed. Yeah, they don't count. Okay, let's try Ottawa then. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll give them a look. Let's go look at Ottawa. They don't want him. Mm, I, I feel like we're going to have much better luck finding a team that actually wants him or trading him to a team that actually wants him. At least getting something decent in return. Do they want their... F oh, oh my gosh, Pittsburgh. What did you do? They have no picks left. Uh, Toronto. This one wouldn't go through because... Of the, okay, well, what if we... What if we add in the first and then we just take, you know, some player that they don't want but is signed kind of thing for a, the last year here. We're just going to let a lot of people go at the end of this year, basically. So, signed to one year. Wayne Simmons. Why is his value at the bottom here? I don't think. He's 81 overall. And he's, his contract's not ridiculous. I don't know. I'll try picking up the Wayne train, I guess. That'll make it work. That obviously will not go through. I'm just going to piss him off, but I'll try. Oh! Okay. Okay. All right. I'll take that. So we definitely have the cap space to sign our players now. So with that being said, I'm out of here. I, I'm out of here. This <laughs> That was a, a very... Successful deadline, <laughs> I would say. I was not expecting that to go through. Okay, anyway. Petrie, yeah, his contract's running out this year. Oh my. Evander Kane and a fourth to Philly in exchange for two firsts and Morgan Frost. I'm going to say Philly got absolutely fleeced. Interesting. Okay. I uh, No, I'm okay. And let's go to... The end of the season, I guess. Uh, let's let's edit our lines. I don't think Byram... I don't know. Should I play him in the NHL? That's an interesting question. I guess Victor Mete technically could as well. Uh, I, I think Byram is in the system right now. McDavid has to put back-to-back 100-plus -back point seasons. Yeah, he's, he's an absolute animal in simulations. Okay, so let's go to in the system. Bowen Byram, he's 77. I'm going to keep him down there for now. I don't want to ruin him too much, you know? Because our team is not going to do good. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, why didn't you get the first back from Calgary if you wanted to do... I got a first from Toronto. I don't know. Calgary didn't really... I guess I could have done the same thing with Calgary, but I just didn't expect the one from Toronto to go through, honestly. Otherwise, I probably would have... Went to a different team, but it went through, so I was kind of just caught off guard, to be honest. Um, okay, what was that line again? It was Tatar. No, this wasn't it. It was Druen, Suzuki, and Anderson. There we go. Wayne Train. Oh. Paul Byron, will you? Okay, sure, why not? I don't really care, because we're not trying to win now anyway. But we do want to re-sign some of these guys. We're not going for, like, a, a complete rebuild, I wouldn't say. It's more of, like, a half rebuild. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but I guess we're going to learn today. In the NHL, uh, should I start Skinner in the NHL? Or sorry, should I have him back up in the NHL or should I have him starting in the AHL? He's listed as minor league starting goalie, so I'm going to start him in, yeah, basically a retool, right. I'm going to send Stewart down and bring up Jake Allen. So let's go goalies. And send Jake Allen up. And then go to, in the NHL, send Skinner down. Uh, it says waivers, no, so, okay. I know Allen would go through waivers, but, yeah, in the system. Skinner. So, he, oh my gosh, Skinner's, like, not even going to be starting down there. Because we got Caden Primo and uh, Lindgren as well. Well, sucks to suck, I guess. He's Oh, well, he's listed as medium starter. Lindgren's only medium fringe starter. Maybe... We should start 
Skinner over Lindgren. I'll probably do that. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's go back to edit the lines here. I... Did I call anyone up? It was just goalies, right? I only have to fix goalies. I'm not going to worry about any of the other lines really too much because we're basically just trying to get this season done with. So Jake Allen's up to 82 now. We got two 82s. Decent. And then in the AHL, we'll put in Stewie. There you go. Substitute. And we'll take out Lindgren and put in Caden Primo. Yes, please. There we go. Okay. Okay, so yeah, we're going to get this season done now, and we're going to get into the offseason. We're going to try our, our luck with contracts here. Hopefully, we should have the cap space now to sign these players, but we're going to learn today. <laughs> okay, here we go. Primo grows fast. Okay, that's good to know. Keep it going, and yeah, we're going right up to here. I'm, I'm a little nervous for the draft, I'm not going to lie. Why do I, f I feel like for some reason, knowing this game, even though we just made those trades and got rid of like half of our roster, there is a chance, actually, hold on. I just want to make sure that Byram is getting minutes in the HL. I didn't really look too well. It was sort of just a brief. So, back to edit lines, we go. Is he, he'd be playing in the, I think he's in the WHL, isn't he? So, I don't know, let's find out. Byram is here, okay, I want to move him up. Gets a plus three there. Uh, sure. Why not? If that works, it works. <laughs> and Caulfield's getting line one minutes. Unfortunately, like I said, I created him. And then EA kind of screwed me over when we started this. And he only signed to a one year. So we have to re-sign him at the end of this year as well. But it is what it is. Uh, no worries, Mini Clips. Thanks for coming out. Okay. We should be good to go now. Byram's line one on the AHL. So is Caulfield. And we've got uh, our starting goaltender there is Caden Primo. Good stuff. Back to the end of the season we go. And I know that... I, I, I've i never really had good seasons, honestly, with Deno. I feel like his trade value is always low, so I always try to go for him. And then he just doesn't really work, so... I don't feel so bad about getting rid of him. Uh, okay, so I guess Mission Tank has been successful. This is why I was kind of scared to even try to push, though. Because I feel like this could have happened even if we didn't make any trades... That's usually how it works. After the trade deadline, just all goes downhill. Yo, the Woodman, thank you so much for the subscription at Tier 1. Greatly appreciated. Okay. We are 31, 35, and 11. Definitely not making playoffs, but that's kind of what we expected. I'm not sure who's going to win the Stanley Cup. The Lightning have 109 points. The Capitals have 120. Holy crap. Okay. Well... I'm hoping that we have a decent draft. I'm honestly not the best at drafting, but it's a, it's a work in progress, you know? And then we're going to try to get our contracts all wrapped up. Maybe we'll have some cap space for free agency. Doubt it, but possible. And then, yeah, we'll go, we'll go from there. Ethan is the man for the boys. That's quite the name. Ferda? Ferda boys? All right, let's continue going here. June and the Boston Bruins are the Stanley Cup champions. Cleveland Monsters won in the AHL. I don't even think our AHL team made the playoffs. I don't remember seeing anything or any warning. So maybe they got first rounded. No, that just looks like the season. Well, let's. I guess I can just swap. Oh, so they did make first round and then they got clapped. Okay, whatever. And let's let's head up to. Actually, I don't really care about retirement. Let's head up to the draft. Well, it's, I'm going to have to see the retirement anyway, but you know what I mean. Oh my gosh, Nashville, 11 to 1. Arizona, 12 to 2. Anaheim, 8 to 3. The Islanders got absolutely screwed. We went from pick 6 to pick 9, so we kind of got screwed as well. Oh, that's big lame. That is big lame. Oh, it is what it is. You should do an all-alumni NHL teams franchise mode. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I feel like I tried something like that in the past, but... Can't really remember. Hosa is gone after winning himself a Calder Cup, I guess. He's got the Tucson there. I don't believe... You know, there's usually anyone... Like, even Jumbo Joe doesn't retire in year one. McElhaney. Okay. That's true. At least I am top ten. That's true. Fair enough. And I never really do the draft interviews. I don't know if they mean anything or really do anything. If it's just, I guess, a feature <laughs> to add to the game. But 
I don't really see a purpose. So anyway, I, I'm not going to try trading up any draft picks here. Sim pick, they get high elite Rotti. That is quite the pick. Yep. And then Moro, medium elite, 80 overall. Man, okay. Well, let's sim to our pick. Pick nine. We are all... Oh my... No way. No way. We're already at the top sixes. I thought there'd be more elites. Whatever. Um, Who can we draft now? Joshua Roy. I feel like I've heard that name before. Or probably Wa, actually. I think he's in the QMJHL. Yeah, so I don't know. It's probably Wa, but potentially Roy. I'm not sure. I don't even recognize any of these names. I feel like we drafted this guy in the Seattle one, but I'm not sure. Uh, go for people without faces. So should I go for... Um, Edvinson, I'm just going to look at the, the stats here real quick. So he put up quick maths says 58 points in 64 games. That's not bad. 65 and 72. We got 57 and 68. Uh, oh, <laughs> not great. Well, I guess he is a defenseman, but, and he also had plus 10. Uh, a lot of people saying go for Lambos, one for Clark. Gunther is elite and Lambos. Okay, so. All right. I uh, I guess I'll try I'll try this. I don't even know if this is how you pronounce it. Lambos. I don't know. Okay. Well, you know what? Screw it. Well, we already have a lot of defensemen though. That's the thing. But I guess all everyone that our scout is recommending is defense, unfortunately. Um Gunther is elite. Oh. Would he actually be though? I don't know. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm, uh, this is tough. Edvinson. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm just I'm sending it. Screw it. Here we go. Please. Medium elite. There we go. Two-way defender, medium elite, a 67 overall. Okay, well, I want to see what this this Edvinson guy ends up being. Okay, so Joshua Wa goes. Um. Okay, he is medium elite sniper, but I feel like we got Caulfield for that. So I'm not too upset. I mean, I guess Caulfield, he's a right winger, right? And then medium elite, 68. Oh, man. Yeah, they're basically the same thing. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. Let's sim to pick 19. And see what we got here now. I don't know if we should probably look for a goalie. We can You can get goalies late, though. So I'm not going to try to panic, pick up a goalie. Ooh. All right, Cole Huckins. 19 goals, 31 assists for a total of 50 points in 60 games. Hmm. Okay, he looks pretty good. Anyone else here? No one else really has, like, any points. Holy crap. Uh, no, no. What about Justin Robida? Hucking is a bust. Okay. Look out, he has a bus gem next to him. Oh, does he? Where's that? Oh, yeah, I didn't even see that. That's cool. I didn't even know that was really in the game. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Oh, it's in the top right there, too. All right, thanks for pointing that out. Okay, never mind. Steer away from that guy real quick. Who's the top guy? Uh, Peltola. That's a pretty cool name. Kind of sounds like a Pokemon. He is a right winger from the... Swedish Hockey League. Doesn't have a lot of points. Plus 17, though. What's uh, the player style? Can we see? Playmaker? Or I guess it's not guaranteed, but... Hmm. Ah, screw it. I'm going to send it. Here we go. Full send. And... Medium top six. Right wing playmaker. I'll take it. I'll take it. You'd go with kidney. Sydney the kidney. All right. Next pick is pick 70. So we're in round three now. Kind of want to try for a goalie soon if there is one. And we've got Calais. It could be Cal. It could be Calais. I have no idea. Uh, Lindstrom. Duh, 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 duh. Uh, let's have a look at the stats here. Uh, technically, you guys are all my Twitch scouts. Because I, I don't really know what I'm doing half the time. I'm kind of just here for the ride. Okay. Okay. All right, Andre Bakanov. 
of the Guelph Storm. 39 apples, 21 goals in 63 games. What's going on, Anon? How are you today? Uh, oh, <laughs> Colton Doc. That's got to be Kirby Doc's brother, right? Kind of looks like him. He's also playing for the Saskatoon Blades. Has to be. Definitely has to be. And anyone else? Uh, not really. No one's standing out. Lindstrom. Two points. He only played 11.36, though. Average time on ice. I'm doing great, Anon. Thank you. Get Lindstrom or Bakanov. Okay, well, I kind of... Where was that guy again? The guy that had all those points. There he is. I'm going to try this guy. I'm going to try this guy on for size. I'm going to try him. Got a lot of points. Risk it for the biscuit. Here we go. Colton Doc turns in nothing usually. Oh, that's that's brutal. Low <laughs> top nine. That, that draft pick we just had was a chunker and on. Holy smokes. That's a rough go. Well then. Hate to see it. Okay, well, I'm not going to take Colton Doc. Because he said he turns out to be a bust. Uh, okay, so look for gems. Something like that. Can you sort... Oh my gosh, Siri. Holy crap, just gave me a heart attack. Oh my word. I hate that for me. Every time... Okay, I'm like turning my phone upside down so it doesn't recognize it. Anytime I say, I see. Okay? <laughs> then, for some reason, my phone thinks I'm talking to it. And I'm not. Ever. So, I'm gonna like turn that off, I swear. Holy crap, I think I just had a heart attack. Anyway. Whew. Time to recover. I believe I want to try getting a goalie. A 908, 30 wins in 70 games. 303, that's a bit of a rough go. Da, 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 da. Hmm. I sorted my potential already, right? Okay. Let's see if we can find a goalie. There's actually a few goalies here. Holy. I was not expecting that many. Hasn't played a game. He has a 908. Where's all the goalies at? We need to try getting some kind of goalie. Well, I guess we got Cade and Primo, but, you know, could be better. 57 points in 61 games. Minus four. Me, uh, you know what? No, I'm not taking him. It's 646 is scout rank. Oh, boy. Okay. You know what? I'm specifically going to sort by goalies. I'm going to try to find a... a okay, what, what is bust bust here? Pavel Cajun. Uh, I wouldn't consider him to be a gem, that's for sure. 891, 373. That's a pass from me. Okay, okay, now we're talking. He only played three games, though, but he also had three wins. So, you know, he's uh, doing quite well there. This guy is unreal. Ralph Fata, but he only got three wins. But somehow, still had a 257, 925, and two shutouts. Okay. Uh, this guy has a big sample size. I want to try to find someone with decent stats. I got you with the hydrate. Thank you. It gives me time, actually, for you guys to... Try to decide what goalie you want me to draft. Ooh. Okay. All right. Nine shutouts, a 919, 264, 37 wins, 66 games played. Yeah, seriously. 14 games played, three wins. That's a rough go. I'm going to I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Medium French starter. You hate to see it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Yeah. I probably, sh Aram, you're absolutely right. I 100% should have gone with that guy. In fact, I'm going to see if he's still there. And if he is, I'm going to take him. But I doubt it. So, nine, okay. Yeah, he's definitely gone. That is very unfortunate. I cannot believe I've done this. 931. Three for three. Uh, medium fringe starter. Or should I just try my luck with Breeze Galov? <laughs> Guy, we know nothing about him. When in doubt, blame the tendy. Absolutely. Okay, whatever. Screw it. I'm just doing it. Medium backup. Mm, not the worst. Not the best. Getting a bit of a, a pool going here, I suppose. Not like, you know... Hey, look, it's a Vaughn. It's almost like a non. 
Uh, what should we do here? What should we do? Scout recommended. Meh. All right, I'm just going to look for points. That's that's all I do in these drafts, basically. Just look for people that put up numbers, and they aren't listed as a bust, I guess. Because I've probably taken several of those before. Here's a tip. Go to the third row of stats, and it will say how many years they will be able to make the NHL. Look at that. Okay. Uh, wait. The third row of stats. So, one, two, three. Is that... Is that this? Am I missing something? Oh. Oh, wait. Do you mean... Like, here somewhere? Oh, five years. Oh, okay. Interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. Weird watching you on Twitch when I'm used to <laughs> the YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably pretty weird. I, I I don't even like it as much, honestly, as YouTube. It's, it do feels weird for me, too. Okay. This guy's ready in three years. Show me the one. Show me the one years. Show me the ready now. Am I, am I under goalies? No, I'm not. Okay. You know what? You know what, Alexei? <laughs> he is a left-wing grinder. No points. This is our guy. Just kidding. Let's go to Evan, who has 10 points in 46 games. Offensive defenseman. Boro, two years. Yeah, I don't know. All right, Jimmy, I'm taking your word for it. I'm sending it. Screw it. Here we go. And it ends up being a medium seventh. <laughs> this has been a rough draft. This has been definitely a rough go. Oh, well. It is what it is. I don't even like the drafting that much, honestly. I, I feel like I should auto-draft. Because I the, the computers will take better players than me. I'm sure of it. You sub for the career sims and stayed for the streams and be a pro. That's what you you love to hear. I drew you in with one thing, and then somehow you like the other. <laughs> okay, well, honestly, I'm I'm giving up. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go off of instinct here. First person I see with decent stats. I mean, is 45 and 61 decent? Probably, compared to the others. Uh, we got. Well, you guys said to take people with, you know. Without a face. So, Keegan, welcome aboard. Probably going to be brutal. See you later, Madron. Thanks for coming out. And Jimmy with a gifted sub. What a beauty. Low top nine center power forward. Probably won't pan out. Oh, my word. To be fair, at least I didn't take this guy. I was about to. And he's AHL top six, so... Yeah, that was... Uh, <laughs> I guess a bullet dodged. Okay, keep going here. First guy had decent stats. But so does Tristan Leno. <laughs> Not really, actually. 901 and 3 GAA. Ow, man. Why do I keep hitting my damn desk? What is my problem today? Holy crap. I just punched my desk again. I have no idea what's going on, but I've just lost all abilities to do anything, apparently. Well, you know what? He's recommended. He has a picture, but too bad. 39 points, 58 games. Let's, let's go. I don't think we're going to find anything... This late anyway. Low bottom six. Yeah, you're basically gone forever. And how many draft picks do we have, dude? I'm, I'm about to just simulate. I'm about to do it. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I'm fed up. Okay, find me. There we go. Three for three, 931, and uh, two goals against average. Not bad, honestly. I saw... Oh, this guy. He's still, he is still here. Ralph Fad. All right. He's still here. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Hopefully he's good. Medium fringe starter, 47 overall. My dude, how are your stats so good when you're 47 overall? That's impressive. You drafted a low elite winger. I feel like low elite never um, Connor pans out. <laughs> that was that was awful. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, anyway, that was it, it was just, you know, circumstance. He popped up on the screen. I had to say it. I'm sorry. Should I just keep drafting goalies and hope for the best? You know, I, I guess I could do that. 285. Screw it. Sure. It's got an interesting name. Sokis. Medium fringe starter. Okay. Uh, yeah, at least we're not getting AHL like these guys. It's brutal. You guys suck at drafting. Worse than me. And that's saying something. Okay. Anyway. Let's keep going. Mm. 
One guy had a decent amount of points. Which one has more? Oh, quick maths says that Cornbiel has more points. So <laughs> he might have even had more games. I don't know. Yeah, I've, I've, I've essentially just given up, guys. Basically. At this point. Drafting is probably my least favorite thing to do in this game. Some people probably love it. That ain't me, Chief. It's my least favorite thing to do. I like making trades and stuff. And, you know, signing contracts and simulating through careers. <laughs> but doing drafts ain't for me. Oh my gosh, I am glad that's over. I feel like I just went through the exit of a haunted house. Anyway, let's try to get these contracts going here. And then let's see how much cap space we have left. Watch us still not have cap space to sign everyone. I will cry. You won't see me because I don't have the camera going. So you won't know for sure. But uh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> All right, go to contracts. We still got 71 points there, actually. Uh, and just in case anyone's curious, I feel like we should. I really need to get like a PS5 so these menus load faster. This is insanity. Who won the precedence? It was the what, 122, almost 60 wins. Holy smokes. 74.4% or point average. I would say percent, percent average, point percent. That is very good, Washington. Uh, okay, I, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. There's one way I want to say it, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to say fub. <laughs> And hope that that's correct. Patrick Kane with 122. McDavid 121. Dreisaitl 112. Okay, there we go. And then awards. Let's go through these quick. There it is. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no way. You absolute weasel. That is a joke. Whatever. Whatever. Samsonov. Okay, cool stuff. Forbert. Interesting. And then over chicken gets the Maurice. I'll just show you the playoff bracket quick in case anyone cares. So there you have it. Wait. Oh yeah, never mind. Washington didn't win the cup. I was like, what the hell's going on? But no, they didn't win the cup. They just won the presidents. And then Boston ended up winning the cup. It all makes sense now. Okay. So, two contracts. Please have cap space. <laughs> Krejci won the con Smythe. Love to see it. How much cap space do we have? 41 million. I think we got enough, guys. Weber is old, but he is still everyone's father. That's a fact. Okay, does he want to resign? He wants an extension. So I'm going to try cutting him a bit here. I don't want to cut him too much, so I want to get him. So 5.5 .5 seems fair for Tomas. Ta-ta. I want to get Gallagher back as well. Definitely. Oh, you're killing me here, guys. He wants to resign. Now, I'll try 5... 5.5 for you as well. They don't really want super long terms here, which is awesome. That's great news for me. Okay, Kakanyemi. Kakanyemi, I kind of want to sign long term. I think he's going to pan out. Okay, you guys let me know whether we should try to sign Kakanyemi long term or go for the four-year deal. In the meantime, I'll move on. Sign Louis Erickson to a $41 million deal. Honestly, I don't even think he would accept it. I, got, I think I would offer a little bit more. Armia, I do want to bring him back. He does not want extension though, so that's going to be a hassle. Do I want to bring the Wayne train back? Depending on how much he wants. Maybe. Sign. Oh yeah, I forgot. Everyone calls him KK. Kotka Niemi. I think that's how it's pronounced. But anyway, yeah. I, I think long term is worth it. And Simmons doesn't want a lot. I think he could be beneficial on like the PK as well as third or fourth line. So I'm going to try signing him. Sure. There you go. Russell... Let's, does he want to resign? Yeah, okay, well, I'm not going to sign him now, actually, because there's more important people. Um, Bowen Byram's good. Lekkanen, I'll sign you. He wants a one-way. I'll just give you exactly what you're asking for. He's probably going to decline that, knowing my luck, but we'll see what happens. Flurry, absolutely. Sign him to a six-year contract. Yeah, I need to sign Caulfield for sure. Flurry, does he not get better in overall? Holy. Okay, well, I guess I'll give you one year to prove yourself, and then we'll see what happens, but I don't know. He doesn't seem to want a lot. What's going on, Ethan's? Ethan's? Paling? 
the four goal guy. Did he get four or three? I don't remember. He only wants a two way. Okay. I will give that to you. What about wheel? Do you want a two way? Oh, he does. Great stuff. Good job, guys. I'm happy for you. Okay, we need to get Caulfield. Where the hell is Caulfield? And Evans. Sign him as well. He also wants a two-way. For one year. Sure. Why not? Okay, there's Caulfield. We need to get this guy right now. I have 26 viewers. That is pretty fire. Nice. <laughs> if I trade wheel... Montreal fans hate wheel. <laughs> Why? Why is that? All right. Oh my gosh, Caulfield just spikes up in price. Should we take a big risk? Should I try signing up for six years like Kaka and Yemi? Why do you guys hate Wheel so much? What's going on, Montreal fans? Why are you guys hating on him? What'd he do? He got four goals, but only three because they don't count shoot. Oh, true, true. That makes sense. Well, I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Caulfield's getting a big contract, okay? I'm going to advance a day. And see if everyone accepts. Easy decision. So, oh, Tatar declined. We got Caulfield to that big deal, though. Gallagher said no. Arturi Lekkonen said yes. Fleury said yes. Okay. So, a lot of people said yes. And we still have $36 million of cap space. It's going to be a big free agency for your Montreal Canadiens. We're going for the cup next year, boys. We're going for it. We're sending it. Okay. Tomas Tata. He wants an extension. And he still stiff-armed me. What a rat. I'll give you exactly what you want then. Screw you. We have the cap space. I'm not worried. Uh, you not so much. <laughs> Cut you down a little bit there. And then Kak and Yemi. You guys want me to sign him for like a six or so deal? So I'll try signing him at six, four, five, one. And I haven't checked in goalies yet. Should we resign? Oh, he doesn't even want to resign. Okay, no. We need to sign some goalies. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me read, uh, let's see why you guys hate Wheel. It's only hated because he's playing on the power play. Because our coach Julian put him on the power play. Oh, so you guys... Why? Okay, he gets used on the first line power play and does nothing. But the coach still loves him. Oh, he's one... Okay. I get it now. It makes sense to me. That Cock and Yemi contract will be a steal in three years? Yeah, I think it will. He normally pans out pretty good. I've seen him get up to like 89 overall, so... Man, even just my energy feels so much higher now that I'm done that damn draft. I don't know what it is. I just can't stand them. Well, I, I don't want to try re-signing either of them because they don't want to extend. So we're going to have to get some goalie in free agency. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. Skinner is 76. We still got Caden Primo, who is now 80 overall. Decent. Decent. Ow! Why do I keep hitting the desk? I'm going to lose it. I'm actually going to lose it. I don't understand what's going on. Do I need to move my chair back? Because this is getting ridiculous. Squeakiest chair in the world. I need to get one of those, like, fancy, schmancy gaming chairs. Anyway, advance a day. Resign. Tatar, I am going to punch you. Oh, my. <sighs> Cock and Yemi resigned. Yay, everyone. Too bad damn Gallagher and Tatar suck. You said yes, you want to resign. And now you're saying you're not giving me enough money. I'm giving you exactly what you want. Okay, yeah, there. You happy? Come on, advance a day. I, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. What the hell do they want from me? I'm so confused. They say they wanna resign, so I try to resign them and then they're like, oh yeah, actually no, I don't wanna resign. Good stuff, great, I love that. Victor Mete. I'll just try giving you exactly what you want. Three years, sure. He doesn't really work out from what I've experienced in franchise mode, but... Yeah, Gallagher's a stud. Olafson, 26. Yeah, whatever. Maybe if you wanted to... He wants it one way. Uh, screw it. Uh, screw it. <laughs> I'll do it anyway. Okay. Blandy. Oh, no. That potential, absolutely not. Laurent Dauphin. Who remembers when this guy was three and a half green stars in like NHL 12? Or no, it's like 14, I think, actually. But anyway. Uh, Elaine. Don't need to worry about. Well, I guess I could just qualify. We'll see. Oh, no, I'm going to. Well, you want to. Hmm. I'm a sucker for two-way contracts. If they want a two-way contract, I basically am just automatically going to offer it to them. So. Better all accept that. 
Just don't let Gallagher leave Habs. <laughs> Fans are not going to be happy, to say the least. Okay, I'm not going to let him go. I won't let him go. I won't let him walk. 6.1. You better re-sign Gallagher. Or the fans riot. Okay, we got Gallagher. We got Gallagher back. And... Okay, Gustav, you're done. You had your shot. You missed it. Enjoy rotting in free agency. You might get picked up by someone. I don't know. And then Tomas Tata. I'll try overpaying you as well. How many days do I have left? I'm kind of getting worried. Uh, Let's see. Oh, no. We're running out of time. So I really got to overpay him. He says no. Come on. Tatar! You suck! Why? The 85% contract glitch is still in the game. I don't think it is. Because <laughs> I'm overpaying them and they're not signing. And it says they want to extend. I don't know what the hell to do here. How much cap space do we have? 26 million still. It's going to be a nutty free agency. Uh, I'll try Armia as well. Just because. I like him. But he's probably going to say no. I'll offer him 2.5 for 3. It's 80 overall. Whatever. We'll see what happens. Russell, I'm going to let you walk, bud. But I am going to pick up Tomas Tatar for $8 million. No, I'm not going to do that. No shot. If he says no to this, good riddance. Good freaking riddance, dude. I don't know where you're going to go, but I hope it sucks. 625. That's the most you're getting from me. No, not even. Yeah, 62. Fine. Fine. If he says no to this, I don't care. I don't care. Go. Leave. Wait. Unsigned players. I'll go back to contracts. Okay, never mind. Hold that thought. Who am I? Who have I not signed? Russell, I don't care. No, you can go. Uh, Olafson, I'll, I'll give you one more chance, sir. One more chance. There. You want $25,000? I can do that for you. Screw it. Do you want a two-way contract? Yes, you do. You better not say no. Otherwise, screw you. Okay. Um, I think I'm done here. I think I'm done. I've created enough havoc. Is anyone down here that we need to worry about? No, we do have some a bunch of top six and you know top nines though, which is nice to see. Good stuff. And we re-signed in the system. If I can do that, Caulfield, where are you at? That is the important one. Mostly. 76 overall. We got him for five million dollars. I I I'm not gonna sign any of the goalies, Jimmy, because they don't want to, and I'm not about to overpay them because they stink. So we're going to go for free agent goalies. Or, if not, we're going to go for <laughs> trading goalies. Lindgren, you guys said let him go. I'm going to let him go. He says no anyway. He doesn't want to resign. So screw him. But, yeah, main roster. I resigned Primo. Well, no, I didn't actually. He has one year left. Sorry. I resigned Skinner, and then Primo is still good to go. So that's our thing. Oh my gosh, ad time. I forgot about that. I don't know how that's going to work. Okay. Well, you know what? Have I... I haven't... Have I... I haven't advanced a day yet. Okay, you know what? Let's just send it. Let's send it. Let's send it. Continue. Yes, he signed. Okay. I actually was thinking he wasn't going to. Okay, Olofsson, I couldn't care less. We're good to go. We are good to go. How much cap space do we have now? Continue. We have... 19 million dollars of cap space going into free agency. I'm going to show you guys our whole team here. So centers, we've got sort by overall. That was, wasn't it? Oh, that's sad. Oh, that's real sad. Okay. Well, we got Kakanyemi and Suzuki. <laughs> and then Evans and Wheel. Paling. Okay. We, we could use a center, to say the least. Uh, we could also use a left winger. Oh, boy. I, I will do the ad time, but I want to get to... The end of this first and then before i you know chill for a bit and just talk with you guys after the stream well after the video then i'll, I'll run it quickly then uh okay so i am going to say we don't really need a right winger in fact we could probably play one of our right wingers on the left side so maybe we just need a center defense we're a little rough bowen byram please well you know what he could probably play in the nhl next year okay well Anderson's an 83, is he? Did I miss that? Oh my gosh, he is an 83. Let's go. Let's go. That's pretty that's pretty clutch. Okay, so we definitely need a goalie. Probably need a centerman. Could probably use a defenseman. But we only have $19 million, so that could be an issue. Well, let's go to the free agents anyway. 
You guys have seen our, our roster now. You know what we have. Here is what's available for free agents. We got Bufflin, which probably not. Hoffman, Shiri, Stahl, Krejci, Yarmulsen. Okay, I'm just going to go through the list here so you guys can see everyone. Philippe Deno. I guess he didn't re-sign wherever we traded him to. Was that to Colorado? I think it was to Colorado. But anyway. Yeah, this is where you guys are going to come in. I'm going to need YouTube comments for this one to see what we should do. And yeah, I probably should sign Suzuki. I'll do some contract extensions next video as well. So there we go. There's there's the free agents. And if I go to goalies, we've got Rask. 89 overall. He's 34 though. Bennington's also here. Uh, Hank is here. David Riddick. Group. Wow, there's a lot of goalies here. Holy crap. Okay. Okay. Well, the draft was pretty miserable, but we did sign a lot of contracts that are huge. And we needed that. Uh, I showed you guys the roster. I showed you guys what's in free agency. Leave your comments. What should we do? Who should we sign? Who should we get rid of other than Wheel? <laughs> and yeah, I think um, that's going to do it for this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. 